I came around off the edge and he fumbled it or threw it and I see Jack Rush dive for it. So I watched him and I went to go jump on him after he caught it so no one ripped out of his hands. And then Jason Clay tips it and then I saw it pop up and I was right there and so I just reached for it and got it. Coach Elder mentioned he would have thought coming into this game the offense would be ahead of the defense, but I think we saw this opposite tonight. How big do you think this defense has to be for this team this year? Do you think this was an example? Um, I think it will be, uh, our defense will be a huge part because we put, there are a lot of good teams in this conference that have a lot of high scoring offenses, but I think our offense had an off night and they're going to hit the films tomorrow and practice. They're going to practice hard. So I think they'll bounce back and have a better game. So. It might not be as vital, but it'll still be a huge part of our success. We did a lot of really good things defensively in terms of keeping some explosive players in check and not giving up the home run play. That was my biggest concern. And it's funny, coming into this game, I would have told you our offense would have been light years ahead of our defense. And so that tells you how much I know as a head coach. <laughs> Kudos to our defensive staff and our defensive players and our special teams for, for winning this football game for us tonight. Our defense won us the game uh, offensively. If I mean, 19 points could get you by in some games, but eh, not a lot of not a lot of games. So our defense, hats off to them. They played extremely well and uh, really helped our team out to get this W tonight. Coach Elder always says that we need to be heat-seeking missiles when the ball comes, and so I really thought about that, and so I just wanted to fly around, make tackles, and. I knew our offense was struggling a little bit, so I knew that we had to step it up as a defense to help them out. 